Yeah, so the key distinction here, as I explain the difference, is about information. That, that's the important thing because information is an advantage. And those of us on the defense side trying to stop attacks, uh, we have that advantage. And the attacker does not have that advantage. The attacker doesn't have the information. So as I describe these, that's a, the key thing we have to realize is the distinction is what we do with information. Now, when it comes to testing systems to find their security vulnerabilities in order to fix them, uh, a lot of people might be familiar with the term penetration testing, security assessments, red teaming, all these different types of security testing are all intended in one form or another to improve the security posture of an organization, whether it's improve the response capabilities of the people like you would with red teaming or improve the system itself like you would with security assessment, uh, with uh, vulnerability assessments and pen testing and stuff. That's the goal. Now, there's this misconception out in the world that essentially says, well, when we, when we hire a company to do this security testing for us, we shouldn't give them any information. And the reason we don't want to give them any information is because we believe that that will somehow, I'm putting this in air quotes, you know, emulate real world attack conditions. But that's actually not what it does. All that that does is that limits the information. So this is what black box testing essentially is. It limits the information that the, the testers would have. And when you limit the information, really all you're doing, now you're testing the tester. You're not testing the system. You're saying, can this group exploit the system within this amount of time? And whether they can or they can't doesn't even actually mean whether that group is able to. It just means, did they in, did this group in this amount of time find an exploitable issue? That doesn't really help you improve the system. So let me, let me tell a story that illustrates it. Um, so a few years ago, we were doing a project for this major chipset manufacturer that was building this artificial intelligence app. And they asked us to do a black box test. And this was really surprising because for years, they'd only asked us to do white box tests. And I actually thought they were joking when they, uh, when they said it because I, they knew that white box or sharing information actually leads to improved outcomes. And, and so I pushed back and said, well, wait, are you sh wait, you really want black box? And they said, well, I want the white box because, you know, I, I know that the white box is going to give me the um, it's going to give you guys the advantage to, you know, quickly narrow in on where the issues are, fix them, help me make the system better. But they said my boss promised to his boss who promised to her boss that we would do it black box. They didn't know the difference. And but here we are. It's political now, uh, which I always laugh at because I'm like, hmm. Bad business decision drives a bad security decision. That, that never happens in anyone's company, you know, right? Like, <laughs> so as I was noodling, noodling on what to do about that, we came up with this idea, which they ultimately agreed to, which was, well, let's do both. Let's do both a white box and a black box on the same system. You'll get the security advantages of actually improving the system because of the white box. You'll uh, get the political benefits of, you know, delivering the black box. And you'll get this side-by-side -side comparison. And so they agreed to that, and it gave us some really cool data that we can, um, you know, use as an analysis for this. So we started with the black box, and we invested, uh, it was about 200 person hours, and in those 200 person hours, we found four security vulnerabilities. Now, of the four, two, the customer already knew about. So that was completely useless to the customer because, again, they're, they're, you're not sharing information. So they didn't tell us how it worked. So all that time and effort finding these things they already knew about was like, well, what was the point? A third issue was a misunderstanding by us of how the system worked. Again, we didn't know how the system worked, so we didn't understand why an input was creating an output. And so uh, that wasn't a vulnerability. It's just a misunderstanding. So that also wasn't very useful. Now, the fourth issue was, in fact, a valid, previously unknown critical security vulnerability. So that was, that was really valuable. But because it was black box, we didn't know how it worked, so we, didn't, we couldn't tell them how to fix it. So in summary, 200 person hours, one problem, no solutions. Now, then we moved over to the white box portion. Same system, same level of effort, same 200 person hours. But instead of one problem, we found 21. All of those issues existed in this system while we we're doing the black box portion. We just weren't sure yet where to look within the time that we had allotted. 
And because it was white box and we knew how the system worked for every single one of those problems, we were able to articulate at least one solution. And in, in several cases, more than one, we'd say, oh, well, this would be the preferred way to do it, but here's another workaround you could do if you want to do that instead. So look at that data side by side, right? It's like same system, same level of effort, dramatically different outcomes. And this is a great example. I'm glad you asked about, of, of all the ideas, I'm glad you asked about this one because I think this is such a powerful example that shows how a misconception, which is naive and innocent. When people say like, oh, we want to do it black box, they're not saying it because they're jerks. They're not saying it because they're arrogant. They're not saying it because they, uh, they want to do it the inefficient way but they don't realize it. And that is why it's a really significant problem that we have to address these misconceptions and replace them.